For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's plain and simple. Jesus Christ saves. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you cannot get to heaven by religion. You cannot get to heaven by good intentions. You can only get to heaven by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Rest assured, these last couple days of Florida, heaven is properly conditioned. In heaven, you will never have it hotter than hell. Hell is a place, it's real. It's been spoken about the Creator, Jesus Christ, and the loving God will cast you into hell if you choose to reject the gift of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation, the entrance into heaven to God the Father is only by one merit, the merit of Jesus Christ upon the finished work of the cross. There is no other way to God. There is no mumble jumble. There's no attendance. There's no works. But that work of what Jesus Christ has done on Calvary's cross. It's plain and simple. It's the same message week after week. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved to go to heaven, to have your name in the Lamb's book of life, the reservations into heaven, is written with the ink of the blood of Jesus Christ, who that is the blood of God. Acts 20, 28. You can try to defy the word of God. You can try to drown out the word of God. But Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words. You're not going to extinguish the word of God. And yet God will exterminate, God will devour into the flames of hell religion. He will devour forever into the flames of fire a belief that's not Jesus. See, without Jesus Christ, you are not okay. You have no hope. For the Bible says Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. And He's coming back. It's a point unto man once to die. The wages of sin is death. What we talk about, we talk about the living people. You must be born again. You are born of the nature of Adam, which makes you a sinner, for all have sinned. There are none righteous. Man that is born of a woman without the belief in Jesus Christ comes short. And you will not bridge that gap except by the gospel of Jesus Christ. That he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. 
And he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Rest assured that what you can do outside of Jesus Christ, what he had done, you can rest assured in what you believe against what God has said. You can rest assured there are reservations in hell for you today. You are good in your church attendance. There are plenty of people in hell with great church attendance. I don't think Judas would ever miss the day with preacher Jesus. You can give money to all kinds of places and events and into a tithing box, a tithing plate. And again, in hell, there'll be all kinds of people that gave their tithes and gave their offerings and would have mounds and mounds of IRS paperwork to prove their donations. And yet they will be found in the lake of fire that burneth forever. You may possess, you may have been baptized in water. And yet into the flames of fire you would wish you would have a little drop of that water you were baptized in to cool your tongue. Because church attendance, offerings, donations, baptism, cannot get you to heaven. Faith and belief upon the finished work of Jesus Christ is the only means you can be saved. It's the only way that God will approve your entrance into heaven. No blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. No entrance. Depart from me, ye workers that work iniquity. I never knew you. Whatever your stance, whatever your condition, whoever you may be, if you have not put your faith and trust and repentance to the finished work of Jesus Christ, you are condemned and you will be tossed into hell by the loving God that loved you so much that he gave Jesus Christ that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now the love of God is that He gave. It is nothing that you can give back to God. Because if you can do something for salvation, then the work of Jesus was of no merit. It was a waste of Jesus' time. If you can do something to get to heaven. And yet the finished work, the gospel of Jesus Christ, is merited for people that are sinners and unrighteous. And when God says, be ye holy, for I am holy, He's not talking about you, for all have sinned. There is none righteous. That the only holiness and righteousness is that of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Your giving, or whatever you give, cannot outgive the love of God, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world. That's the loving God everybody wants. And that is the love of God. That He saw your need you cannot do.
that he accomplished and finished that need for us to get to the Father. And that need, that merit, that accomplishment is that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now let me tell you, if you celebrate God in Christmas, there is no Christmas in the Bible. Jesus Christ was not born on December 25th. There is no Santa Claus. He is a lie. You need the savior of a Jewish family of the tribe of Judah that was virgin born. You do not need an imaginary lie from the North Pole. You can ask that fat man who can't control his diet by stealing cookies all you want to ask him. But he cannot hear you because he is nobody. And yet Jesus Christ manifested in the flesh that is of God and that is God is able to know what you're doing. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. According to the scriptures, even Satan himself can't know what everybody's doing as Jesus. So don't expect Satan cause to know every good boy and every good girl. You've got to put your faith in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. If you go to church to make God happy on Easter, though Easter is in the Bible, it is a Roman pagan holiday against God and His Savior, Jesus Christ. And again, like Santa Claus, you will never, ever find the Easter Bunny. He does not leave chocolates. He leaves little colored jelly beans of the black in color, which are not edible. So if you were to go to church two times a year, in the order to please God, you defy the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And them words are the words of Jesus. And I can find the words Jesus Christ in my Bible. I cannot find Christmas. I cannot find Santa Claus. Though I can find Easter, I cannot find Easter Bunny. And in Jeremiah, or Ezekiel, Ezekiel, pardon me, in the book of Ezekiel, when they are having the sunrise service, God tells Ezekiel the abominations that they do. And what you need to realize, folks, if you are believing in a religion to get you to heaven, many practices, many traditions, many secular orders of the church of any denomination are anti-scriptural and will not get you to heaven. Nowhere in the Bible did Jesus or the twelve apostles through the Gospels, through the book of Acts, 
in the epistles working to the church ever got political. They did not go out and say vote for this one, vote for that one. They voted to say believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Peter preached the gospel. Paul preached the gospel. Philip preached the gospel. It is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that you are able to be saved. And nothing else. Your faith and belief upon the finished work of Jesus Christ will change your destination from hell to heaven. It may not solve all your earthly problems. It may give you more problems. When I speak of the salvation of Jesus Christ, I do not speak of a happy, well-being, wonderful, earthly life. I speak about being removed from hell to the presence of God. In hell, the Bible speaks about being tormented. And yet, in heaven, by the faith and finished work of Jesus Christ, you can obtain eternal life. You can obtain a brand new body. A brand new body that will never have sin in the eternal life by Jesus Christ. You can, you can obtain a body that will never have pain in the eternal life. I'm a born again, Bible believing, preaching Christian. I've got pain. We've got pain. Salvation did not change these wicked, vile bodies of sin. But it has changed our condition from hell to heaven. Whereupon Jesus Christ, that new body will come. That painlessness, that sinlessness in the eternal life where there will be no more sorrow. In the eternal life. <laughs> There are sorrows and mi miseries today, now. But there will be even worse conditions if you were to reject Jesus Christ as your Savior. The extreme condition without Jesus Christ is you will go to hell. You will suffer in torments. And you don't have to. That's the kicker. You do not have to go to hell. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. But if you choose to reject Jesus Christ, when you've heard Jesus be preached, you be a fool. It will be a wonder when you have rejected the preaching of the gospel. And you wake up in hell. When you need not to wake up in hell. Because you have heard the way of God. You have heard the truth of God. And you have heard the life of God through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. We preach Jesus. The Bible says, go ye all the world and preach the gospel. You are accountable to what you hear as I am accountable to what I preach. 
and I have faithfully preached Jesus Christ. You must, upon the preaching, either receive it or reject it. I planted Apollo's water, but God gives an increase. I can't make you get saved. I can make you hear the gospel with amplification. I can force the gospel into your ears with a loudspeaker. But I can't force you to be saved. That is rested upon your condition. Whether you want to believe God or you want to believe anything else. And that's your freedom. That's your obligation before God. What do you ever speak about God's love? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes on him shall not perish. The love of God is that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God is that God will cast you off into hell without believing and loving Jesus Christ as his son, yeah, your Savior. Talk about how much he loves everybody. I just did. For God so loved the world. If, they don't love his son. if you reject his son, you got the wrath of God. Whosoever has the son has everlasting life. Whosoever rejects the son... The love of God is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. It is your obligation to say yay or say nay. I can't force you. And God doesn't force me to preach. I love preaching. I love the word of God. I do. I preach the gospel to them. And when you hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, you can either receive Jesus as your Savior and be saved. Or you can reject Jesus Christ and live in your condemnation that is already on you. John chapter 3 says you're not going to be condemned. You're condemned already. How's that for the love of God? In order to get the love of God, you got to receive the love of God, Jesus Christ, the gift of God. And that gift is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Whosoever believeth on the Son has everlasting life. That's the free gift. That's the love of God. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. There is no love of God when you reject Jesus. Get that to your ears. The love of God is Jesus suffered and died upon that cross. Love of God is that he was buried. And the love of God is that he arose from the grave three days. And three nights. The love of God is if you were to put your faith upon Jesus Christ. God will receive you. God will write your name in the land's book of life. God will send your Holy Spirit into you. God will grant you eternal life by the Son. God will adopt you into the family by Jesus Christ. That's the love of God. But if you reject Jesus Christ, you get the wrath of God, which is totally opposite from love. You cannot have love by rejecting Jesus. 
God is not going to love you if you spit in the face of Jesus, which they did for you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no other way. There is no other salvation. And if you want the love of God, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Live for Jesus Christ. Be all for Jesus Christ. But when you go against Jesus, you are making God a liar. John writes, if we say we have no sin, we make God a liar. And when you will not believe on Jesus, you are professing you are not a sinner in need of a Savior. I mean, if someone came up to your face and rejected you and lied about you, and gossip about you, and spoke evil of your family, you're not going to love them. And yet God's love, approximately 33 AD, is when he put all sin upon Jesus upon that cross. When Jesus suffered brutality and great pain because God loves us. You want to continue in that love, receive Christ. Satan has no love. He don't care. Satan would be more than happy and pleased for you to join him in the lake of fire. Besides the fact of Satan, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And yet, it's not by force. It's a free will to choose. And if you choose to reject Jesus, God is obligated to choose to reject you. If you want the love of God is to love on the Lord Jesus Christ and believe, Rejection does not bring love, it brings wrath. The wages of sin is death. The love of God is for, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God, there's the love, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. There's the love of God. Reject that gift. Reject that love. And there's no more love dispensing to you. Death is coming. We are more sure of death being sinners that we are. The wages of sin is death. I'm glad that verse doesn't stop there.
because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. He that receiveth the Son receiveth eternal life. He that receiveth not the Son shall receive the wrath of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The love of God upon me is because of Jesus and not because of me. When God looks upon me, he sees Jesus' righteousness. None of my own. I'm a sinner saved by grace. When God looks upon me, he sees hopelessness. But when he looks upon me through Jesus, he sees hope. I was a hell-bound sinner saved by the grace of God through Jesus Christ. And if you have not believed and rejected Jesus Christ, you are a hell-bound sinner. Period. To go to hell is to reject Jesus Christ. To go to heaven is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The wrath of God is upon those that reject Jesus. The love of God is by believing on Jesus. The scales are measured by Jesus Christ and the gospel that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Not a tradition, not a preacher, not a preacherette, but by the word of God, Jesus Christ can give you life. And you're not going to get love if you reject Jesus. You get quite the opposite. You get religion. And then you get damnation, condemnation. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And yet, it's your choice. God gives you an option... But the option is not optional. And when you choose not the option of God, Jesus Christ, God will not choose you any longer. He'll reject you. You'll become perishable and cast out in the city inferno, the lake of fire. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There is no salvation in any other. There is no name given amongst men whereby ye must be saved. And that name is a masculine name of the male Jesus Christ. That name is not a fallen God, but the risen God, Jesus Christ. 
The only name we worship in heaven is Jesus Christ. The only way into heaven is by Jesus Christ. The only glory of God is Jesus Christ. The only Son of God is Jesus Christ. The way is Jesus Christ. The truth is Jesus Christ. The life is Jesus Christ. The love of God is Jesus Christ. I am going to heaven by Jesus Christ. You will go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. Salvation is by Jesus Christ. You are Christians by Jesus Christ. And Paul, Paul warns us that there are other Jesuses that are not Jesus Christ. Be warned. Them Jesuses cannot save you. They'll damn you. There is no other name under heaven given amongst men whereby you must be saved, and that name is Jesus Christ. That simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus, thou shalt be saved. Reject Jesus, and there is no more love but condemnation, damnation, tribulation, tormentation, and any other shun that's against God, including the wrath of God. Uh-oh. Too cold. I guess we outlasted another one. Uh-oh.